I don't think anybody on this panel, we're all physicians, are gonna disagree with you that there is an epidemic of obesity, heart disease, diabetes in this country, and that fruits and vegetables and decreasing some known carcinogens is a really good idea. But I think as physicians, we had a long discussion about this backstage, about the way you chose to present the science or kind of the way it was presented in your documentary as if more like a scare tactic, as a conspiracy theory. For example, with the World Health Organization, when you talk talked about carcinogens and you equated red meat to basically tobacco and smoking and said that it was, it was equivalent in the World Health Organization, I think it was a misrepresentation of a lot of the science. You're not actually looking at level of risk. I have to apologize to interrupt, but I, I, I kind of saw a little bit of, of, of a void and, and of confusion because I, I, as much as meat has been classified that, certain processed meats more than any others, you know, the sun is classified as a class group one and, and that's carcinogen, why we, that's why so we... is red wine. And so I find it very interesting that if we're gonna talk about that, you know, and say that all meat is bad and it's toxic, it's just so unfair because there's a huge, huge difference. I'm not into opinions, I'm into actual science. And I'm not biased because I'm vegan, I'm vegan because I learned this stuff through science. I wrote a book telling people to eat protein I'm a weight loss doctor. I was telling my patients to eat protein. They were getting fatter. I was getting fatter. I failed a life insurance policy. No, protein policy is test. great, and so are vegetables. I don't so think protein you're is that. not great. That's the problem. And so well, I, I would then, disagree. I then, well, this is not, but see, <laughs> so I wrote a book where I really went crazy trying to figure out why am I ill? Why is everybody ill? Why do I have a room full of patients that are sick? When I say that there are a lot of studies linking meat to cancer, there are a lot of studies. So in 2004, the American Institute of Cancer Research, the World Health Organization, and the World Cancer Research Fund did a humongous study. And you gotta read the, the prologue, because they say, we have differences of opinion, but the opinions we put here are unanimous. After reviewing 800 studies, we tell you to only eat two thirds of a, of a serving of meat a week. In Okinawa, they have 80% of their calories from carbohydrates, 80%. But they eat meat. They eat they pork eat. once That's every meat. two to four weeks. You were so off on the science, in my humble opinion, because you say, you say sugar doesn't cause diabetes and that carbohydrates don't cause people to be fat, and then you use science and you said that 80% of Okinawans eat rice as their primary carbohydrate. No. That's just not true. Dr. Davis, you, we all know as physicians <laughs> that there are so many studies out there and everyone can cherry pick one cherry research pick. report, okay. one study. So why is the World Health Organization point? studying 900 studies and they're cherry picking? Look, at the, at the end of the day, what's so crazy about this is I actually agree with almost everything you recommend, Dr. Davis. Right. That's what's so crazy. I actually, you know, using beans in Look, place of meat is a great option, primarily yeah. plant-based diet and, and reducing disease, but let's get back to science. You're saying that Okinawans eat 80% of their diet is rice? It's not, it's actually sweet potatoes. It is sweet potatoes and that's what I say yeah, in my you book said and that's 80, what I said in I have a quote, in the film though. I, I have a quote, like, they, they, and then you, then you cite the rice no diet from the Duke, my alma mater, and the truth is it's such a low calorie restrictive diet it is not a locale. And, and, now, and I will this say is unbelievable because this is the most unscientific discussion I've ever had in my life. Why don't we get, I mean, this why is, don't we get some science? Am I on the doctors or am I on some kind of show? I just go and use some of your quotes to our Guys, stop for one second. That is not science. That's a lie, Travis. And what you're doing is lying to this public, and that's why I got to treat them after. No, I, I, get I read everything on it, and then I read your quotes, and I disagree with you. Travis, I, I can make you diabetic right now with a euglycemic clamp and an infusion of fat. Let's talk Actually, so people let's can talk understand. To Dr. Let's talk so about the science. Let's talk about the science. And I don't disagree with that. Let's Again, I you don't disagree with that. I so don't you're disagree me with I too many calories are going to make you, you obese and potentially cause diabetes. Yes. You say excess sugars or simple carbohydrates will not lead to diabetes or obesity. But the statement is patently false that sugar can't cause diabetes or obesity. You can't make those statements and I, then expect the scientists to agree with you. I've got tons of science to support it.